Hey guys, thank you for clicking on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my thoughts on the recent chapter of Mission Yozakura that is going to be at playing after this intro. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification to keep up to date with all my videos. Without further ado, let's hit the intro and let's crack down with this review, shall we? Mission Yozakura, Chapter 63, Tired the Blooming. So, this opens up exactly where last week's chapter ended off, with Grandpa showing off the full awakening of the Yozakura pa blood passed on to the husband of the head of the family. And Grandpa just continues on explaining that, that, that the two eye stars are... Are the Yozakura's complete awakening. And its formal name is The Blooming. And he goes on to explain that the Sumane has the ability to blossom your body. By strengthening it to its ultimate limits. This is a trump card for those who have been given the Yozakura blood. Each head of the Yozakura family is able to share their bloods power once in their lifetime just like how mitsume mitsumi gifted it to you keiko gave me my power me this power just as every individual is different so is the type of power power one can manifest from the blue so pretty much depending on the person the blooming reacts differently to the person that is that inherited it pretty much that's that's what i'm getting here that's pretty much what i'm understanding from this this and and the grandfather just continues that he was already a genius at jailbreaking but the awakening boosted the power and sumine increased the fluidity of my bones and cells and now i can slip through Gaps that seem impossible to pass through. Formless and elusive men, man. So pretty much because he was, because we already know that he was able to break out of jail very easily several times before, it under, is, becomes understandable. And thanks to the power of the blooming within him from what he got from Keiko, Mitsumi's grandmother, mother, and being able to fully awaken it, awakening his a power from it. His ability of jailbreaking already becomes even more strengthened and and better because he can slip through. Let's say, for example, example there is uh, two gaps on this this Coke uh, Pepsi Max can. This is just an example. He can now physically, and I'm not just joking. He he could now physically. Go through this impossible space that would seem impossible. So you could go through either of these gaps and go through it and escape. So say that this was uh, that he was that this can was the only escape he has in front of this enemy, and it was on the floor, and it was uh, that he can pass through that and then be able to escape. So that's his awakening or his blooming ability extended. Anything he's able to do escape-wise, he can do it via whatever gap is there. And in the, in this manga chapter, he, he uses the express of going through the gaps in Tayo's clothes. Clothes. And then he goes on with the gun and he explains more that he gains endless magic budlets with the power of the awakening. And, and it goes on with the explosion and everything like that appearing on here as well. And it just... And he just continues... And it and he continues to exp, experiment and prepare. And then it cuts to a dance. Because it goes on to explain that they're doing this like tango dance. Because he says that you learn hormones in school, right? The gas is released from a ripe apple, ripen other crops. 
you can trigger the blooming with a similar chain. But Tayo said, there's no way this, that half-baked theory could work. But then Grandpa goes, Tayo, you are already starting to bloom. And as we can see with this pile, that we have him being shocked, but we already have one of his awakening eyes that was already manifested. And then we got to see his other eyes slowly starting to form the other, so his blooming ability started to show. But he then states that you're only one third of the way there. But it's a good progress. At this rate, you should be able to see this. He aims the gun and he was able to block it and everything. But then he wanted to continue training and, and everything. So he goes, he ups the risk ante to activate the blooming. And this ups the ante by via aiming the gun to his own granddaughter, that is Mitsumi. And she's even shocked by the looks of it as well. And he fires the gun. Tayo's blooming starts to fully awaken. The bullet starts to reach Mitsumi. But then it stops. Tayo stops the bullet with the palm of his hand. And protected Mitsumi. And that was pretty much the chapter. And that was an actual interesting chapter. It was one of my fun. It was one of my fun favorite chapters as well. It was really, really fun. It was definitely fun to learn more about the Yuzukura blood passing. Head of the Yuzukura blood being able to be passed down to the husband of the head of the Yuzukura family. It was very nice to learn about that, and it's nice to see that what the prospects of the bloom blooming can do at this point in time as well. And it's very curious what is going to happen next and everything like that. But it was very fun and it was very interesting indeed and I really enjoyed it as much as the next person person has. And it was a very fun chapter as well, definitely because we learn more about the whole blooming of air or the awakening ability of the Yozakura family bloodline. And it was definitely something that I thought was needed within this chapter as well. And it was definitely something that I really enjoyed. So this chapter definitely is progress on Tyler's training. And let's hope and pray of what's going to be happening in the next chapter as well. Well, but other than that, this chapter was very fun, very enjoyable, very uh, informative as well. It was definitely a very informative chapter. I really did enjoy that way. That way. The art was on point, the comedic art sections were on point as well, and but definitely the information given within this chapter was definitely very informative as well for the foreseeable future. So let's continue on with the uh, let's continue on with this chapter chapter reviews with next week and see where it goes. But other than that, I've been your host, Kai from Kaiser Tea Corner, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. See ya. Another great chapter, guys. Definitely a lot of informative chapter as well. This chapter as well for chapter 63. Very informative and it was very fun as well. Definitely nice to know that there was an upgrade to the awakening via the blooming. Where both eyes of the husband of the Yuzukura fam family's heads. Uh, heads of the Yuzukura family's husbands could end up being. So very good, very informative and it seems to be very in Innuitive as well. Well, and it was definitely a fun chapter. Like always, you can check out my previous reviews and video playlist on the bottom here as well. As well, and stuff like that. Don't forget to check out the affiliate links down below as well. You can do that by just clicking in the video description, click on those affiliated links down in the video description. And also, don't forget to comment down below what you liked and didn't like about this chapter. Give me your thoughts on what. Tayo's blooming powers going to be down in the comment section below what you think about his blooming powers might be as well and and that's pretty much it for this chapter and everything like that for this video as well so don't forget to do that and don't forget to like this video and if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press that bell notification and click all to keep up to date with all my videos for the foreseeable future other than that enjoy these credits